Hello, this is cindersapercraft.co.uk and I thought I would bring you these um, different tutorials. They're the same uh, idea, but I've turned one into a bag, which I will go with in future. Um, they are two different sizes, and the reason why is the UK and Europeans have a different size card than the American and the Canadians. So one is sized to fit the five and a half by four and one quarter cards with a two envelopes. And this one's designed to fit with our five and three quarters by four and one eighth. And that is, that holds the C6, I think they are envelopes. And um, they're the ones that stamping up sell. So that's the way I've gone with these. Now these are actually quite a size. They're really reinforced, but they have a slight secret. So this one, what I've done is I have cut out with dies and placed the card underneath. So they're the inlaid dies. And if I open this up, it opens up like this. And then they open up and here are some cards that I have done I still have peekaboo peach on my hands so if you can see it I'm sorry so I really struggled with cards for um, the peekaboo peach um, it's not a color of my choice normally I like darker colors and then this side it holds envelopes and a pen and whatever you want else uh, what else you want in um, they clip together with magnets. Now these will hold, um, what, let me show you these very briefly. This one is a die that I actually have. Um, but these here are some of my other classes that I do. Um, all of these here are four layer cards, all of them, as you can see. And they will fit, these are, um, really um, bowed up and that these will fit so how many are there one two three four five six seven eight and as you can see there's loads more room so these ones as you can see they're very 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 dimensional and there are one two three four five, seven of those um, but the others I will do off camera. So that's that's what I will class. I don't know why I've got that there. I will class this as the American box. And let me just take that off. Because I don't know why I've left that there. Right. So anyway. There's that one. And there's this one. Now I didn't do the cards on this one. Because... I will do those separately so this one opens this one is exactly like a handbag and that is a very sturdy handle um, so I've just got these little decorations um, I got them off Amazon um, so that will open up now I'm going to tell you something here that is slightly strange when I open these because I put the magnets in the same place stupidly these two will stick together so I'm going to remedy that I've already started on the other one so as you can see they just open up they'll hold lo lots and lots and lots of cards but you can put whatever you like in there um, as you can see they're very spacey I think this side it is six and three quarters wide with four and three quarters and a depth of an inch so that's a very very nice size you can put whatever you like in there and you've got that side as well but I just thought it was a a lovely way to um, present a gift you don't have to put cards in there you can put whatever you like in there but I am really really pleased um, with the way that I've done this and turned out right so we are now going this is in sorry let me explain 
this die here that cuts out of the actual um, cardstock is from Christmas Quilt. These are from the, oh my word, what are they from? It's not coming to mind. It will do. I'll pop it in the link below. So that's that one. And here I have used the Fresh Fig with the Fresh Florals designer paper. And I actually went with the front and back pattern of that. So you're actually only using one design of paper. It it really makes for a for a um a more thrifty way of decorating. You can pop a label on top of here, which I will do, but not for here. Right. So what you are going to need is we have our cardstock here. I have prepped some already because I really honestly don't think you need to sit down and watch me do one. So there's the one I prepared earlier. Okay, I'll put that to the side. Now I'm going to give the UK and European sizes, but when it comes to the DSP, I haven't put the um, the card stock and um, the DSP down for. Uh, USA and Canada I forgot but you can easily work that out so if I pop those there if you can still read my um, messy handwriting can you? let's move that up a bit there right so let me hold these up you can take a screenshot if you need to the sizes will be on my blog so those are the two sizes you're going to need okay and that is the size of the DSP and the cardstock for the handle right so those are the sizes they will be on my blog here also is a um, template of what we're going to be cutting out I'm going to show you but it's just so that you can see roughly what we're doing. Right, so we are going to trim the cardstock down and we are going to trim that down to ten and a half and we are leaving the width exactly the same. And I have prepared two of these already, okay? So these are already done, but you are going to need to make five of these, which I'm going to do the one that we're doing now. And all you have to do is do that five times. It really is that simple. So, I'm going to put my wax paper on there. And we are going to score this at on the long side we're going to score it at one inch five and three quarters six and three quarters so we'll turn it to the short side and we are going to do half an inch and we are going to do one and a half inch and that is it what I will do now, very briefly, is I'm going to stick these together because I want it to dry. These are the handle. Let me take this out of the way now. You don't need that there. So I've got two pieces of cardstock, which we are going to glue together. Or you use a, um, a tape or glue of your own choice. Um, I use wet glue for this because it allows for wiggle room and unusually I'm not being shy with the uh, glue. I don't usually um, advocate using a lot of glue but on this one I want them to really stick together because that is going to be the handle and if there is a bit of weight behind the um, in the box this is more than enough to uh, 
hold weight because that, that handle is very very rigid so we are just going to put that roughly in the middle okay and we're just going to there and we're going to pop that to the side now we no longer need that let me move those out of the way so it's uncluttered trying very hard to be a, a tidy crafter right so we have score lines so with the half inch score line to the left we are going to actually I show you on this what we are going to do is we are going to cut this half inch bit away here and then we are going to cut that bottom one inch strip away and then we are going to cut these two bits out that bit out and notch them two okay so just in case you can't see too clearly that's what we'll be doing so i'm going to start with the half inch this side and then we've got the one inch and i am going to cut this all the way down to that second score line okay and i am going to then turn it and cut that bit off i think that's the best way for me to show you just eating that up a bit right so you now have a flap here we are going to take off this this tiny flap here okay and we're going to slightly notch that so we have that and then we are going to notch into here and we are going to notch into I'm having trouble today aren't I there okay and then we are going to slightly notch into there up to that score line we are going to fold that back and then we are going to cut all the way along there and that is almost done so now we're just going to notch that bit and that bit very slightly okay and that is it done so you're left with that shape okay so now what i should have done was rounded these corners this is the two inch circle and i am just going to round these corners so push it in as far as it will go and then that's it and then push down <laughs> so that gives us nice rounded corners and i'll quickly do these two i should have done this earlier i really didn't think You can do the, um, use these circle punches depending on how large you want the corner you'll just change the size of the circle if you push them in there's um like a there's a, a tiny bit there all you do is push it into there if you have a corner rounder this isn't usually this fiddly it's because i'm filming and I'm quite restricted on on movement. Um, it is very, very easy. There, there we are. I'll get that out of the way. Right. So what we are going to do is we are going to take two of our pieces and we are going to join them so that it looks like that. Okay. Really simple. But let's quickly do some burnishing. I didn't round the um, corners on the the bottom section of the box 
on the other one and I'm not too sure whether it's better not to on the bottom because then you can glue up a bit further but it looks better rounded so it's an awkward one this really isn't difficult to do you only have to do a minimal amount of scoring and the rest is just gluing so we are going to put this bit and we are going to stick it all the way up to that score line there. I'm going to make sure it doesn't go over, otherwise it won't fold properly. Again, use tape or glue. I don't think fast fuse will hold it, but you are more than welcome to have a go. But because these are actually moving, I would advise a wet glue or or um, a double-sided tape. Right, so you're going to marry it up to there. Just push that over so you can see that all these still close. Right, so that works. Turn it over. I'm lucky my mat, uh, glue dries matte, it doesn't dry glossy, so it just disappears. Right, so there it is, okay. So we are now going to take these bottom tabs and we're going to glue them. I wonder if it's worth getting double-sided tape in quickly, because then you won't have to sit and watch me wait for glue. No, I'm going to go with glue. It's This one dries quite quickly. And I would actually like to gift this out. So once you've glued that, you are going to fold that and making sure that is nice and square. Okay. And we are going to do the same with this one. So we are going to fold that again, making sure that's nice and square. And I'm just holding it with my finger inside. So, oh, and that one's come undone. <laughs> right. And I'm going to turn them over and give them done it again. It heard me say it would work better. That's what it heard. Right, so I'm going to hold that down for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go inside making sure that that's still in the right place. Give that a good burnish. And we are going to look here and see where the glue that ends and we are going to glue up to that point so I think about there so we are going to pop some glue along there and we are then going to push that down put your hands inside and make sure that's stuck square yeah I'm lucky that my uh, glue is a, a matte glue that dries completely clear. Right, so we are going to do the same here. So I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to turn it there. And we are just going to hold that without getting glue all over. My, I have glue all over my hands as well. So if you can see that, I am sorry. I'm a bit of a mucky pup. Well, I'm not a bit of a mucky pup, I am a mucky pup. So, that one's done. So, I am now, before I go any further, that I need to put on. Where did I put that last? So, that's going to go that way. So, I need to put a magnet here. So, Otherwise, when they um, when they go together like this, if they're both in the centre, it can hold on to them, which 
isn't really what we want. Right, so I am a fan of magnets. I say this in every one of my videos. I just get on with them a lot better. So I am going to put that right there on that cross. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to get another one and just pop it on the other side. It will hold it. So there's no confusion. I'm going to get a little glue dot and I'm going to pop it right in the center of that. And then I'm going to get something hard to press on, which just happens to be that. So making sure that those are down and flush, that everything looks right. I'm going to push down on there and the magnet will stay there. Now you won't be able to tell where the magnet is because these are very strong. Okay. So it's not going to be a problem. Right. So I've got my two pieces of paper and I'm going to check which one's nicer on that side. I'm, I know I've said it before. I'm not a fan of the water washing. It looks like it's faded to me. But then I get into a lot of trouble when I say that. So very quickly, I should have rounded my corners. See, that's how it normally goes, nice and easy. I'm not going to round that one though. Um, I don't think it needs to be rounded so much there's enough either side of it you can you can certainly round it and I did in the other one but for this one I'm not so worried and then that will then hold that magnet in as you can see now I could put another magnet there but once this is look what I've done it again I done this the other day I wonder how many of you saw that. Oh dear, what an idiot. I wonder how many of you were sitting there thinking she's done that wrong. Right. So, starting again. Cool. <laughs> there. That's a bit better. Honestly. I've done it last time on my other ones. You would think I would learn. What is it my friend says to me? Even monkeys learn. <laughs> Fair point. Right, so we now have our two. There, ready to go. So, as you can see, because the magnets are, are at opposing sides, it's not going to pull them together so that's good now with this now the reason I have gone you're going to wonder why I didn't just cut this to size what we need to do is take this bit completely off because we don't need that and I am going to just get that school board back in very briefly and we are going to move everything out of the way. So here, so we've got the flap and then this one inch here. Okay, so you can see that. We are going to put another score line in for an inch. Okay, so rather than take this and measure it properly I'm just going to cheat so there and we are now going to cut this bit off now trust me this bit is not going to be wasted because we need this size to join the bottom but it's just so much easier than having four one way and another another especially when you're teaching uh, or showing someone because not everyone is going to be 
as switched on to know so if you do things five times one way I figure it's got to be a bit better but I could be wrong right so we are going to want these facing each other so you're going to turn them up and you are going to make sure they are dead straight and you are going to is that an inch that's bothering me mm. no that'll hold make sure it's an inch I didn't get that inch done properly and you are going to glue the end one away from the flap so there is a blank one in between you'll see what I mean in a minute and you are going to holding those together we are going to make sure that lines up which is a lot easier than I make it out to be that that fold is right in the middle of the boxes okay so you can take that one away there and just check yep that is that is in line so now you can give it a nice squash down I just like to use this one in there as well so that I know that when that closes that they will fit together like so okay and now we're going to do this bit which is why this isn't going to be in vain so we are going to do this at two inches two inches and we're going to score at one inch so we can take that bit off So we are just going to cut along there and then we are going to burnish these fold lines so you've got two bits of one inch either side so we're going to turn it one way and burnish it and then turn it another way and burnish it okay so what we're going to do is we are going to stick these two bits together now I think it's probably easier to do one side at a time let's have a look because I know that I got a bit um, a bit not cack handed because that's not the right word but I got myself into a bit of a pickle last time so make sure you stick it down and then turn it over because you want that fold line there to be towards the edge which that one is okay so you can see and now we are going to put glue on this bit and we are going to pop that in there again pop that bit over so it's completely in line and we are then going to pop that down and secure it make sure those bits are together okay and we are going to just let that set for a minute like so now we can get on with decorating the front we need to have a magnet <laughs> me and my magnets eh so we are going to put one on the front that will be hidden by paper okay so just a glue dot on there and one in the center like so nice and easy and then we are going to take another one and offer it up and it will grab it it's that simple now you can glue these down I'm using a glue dot because it's quick and it's easy 
so we are now going to make sure always make sure that it's flush with everything first so we're going to pop that down now because I'm not pushing against something I was going to say it might not come away but it did so we are now going to have one of these pieces that way okay and we're going to glue that down now for the decoration of these you can probably you can use fuse i would have thought or snail because these bits aren't going to be moving right that's it and i am going to round that for the front and let's see if I can do it right this time and not weird and wonderful like I did before I'm gonna do it again yeah I think my friend's right monkeys do learn right so push that in as far as it will go and done and that gives a nice deep round corner I know Stamping Up have removed um, their corner rounder, but sometimes I wanted a deeper corner anyway. You can use the envelope punch board to um, do corners, but I like to have the um, option of doing them Why have I still got a magnet out? Oh well that's strange. Right. There we are. So now we are going to open them. And the first time you're going to open them, oh well, look, it worked perfectly. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, actually, what we could do is the same as what I done with the other one. Is round that one completely. And then I can put that on the inside there. I know it doesn't look like the other bit. But it is just a bit of decoration. So we are going to put that there. Leave a little border. As much as you can. And then that closes up there. Right, so we are now going to put on, I know that doesn't look quite straight, but it actually is. I don't know why it's coming across as slightly wrong. Yeah, that way. That way. What way did I do that? That way. I was right. So just glue. And pop that down, leaving a border. And we are now going to put on our handle and our decorations. I thought this one almost matched perfectly. So, this is as simple as it is. I'm going to put a glue dot. I'm actually going to put two on this one. I have got some large glue dots somewhere. They were from the pound shop and they're big and round and they're wonderful. <laughs> right, does that look about right? Yep, that looks about right. And we are now going to pop the handle on, which we put off to one side to dry. And it seems to have gone into the black hole that everyone has in their craft room. So we are now going to move this out of the way very briefly. And we are going to score this, and that side's easier sin. We are going to score that at one inch, turn, and one inch, and that is going to be our handle. So we are just going to, with our hands, you don't want to use a bone folder, trust me, not on this one. We are just going to hold them there, 
and the fact that I'm not using a bone folder and really ripping the fibres means it will be more rigid, it will hold more. Normally I would absolutely say go with, um, put a bone folder in but because, because we are using double layer I wouldn't. Right, so I am going to use double sided tape here, which I will do very quickly. Take your time and enjoy this project. It isn't a long project because once all the bits of paper and the card are cut, it comes together remarkably quickly. So enjoy. I'm really thrilled with how this came out. Really thrilled. There. Sorry, this is a bit. I could have had that done. But I'm sure you don't mind. Not really. Right, so you're just going to peel these bits off now. Static. It's a wonderful thing. Of course, I've just trimmed all my nails again. And I have glue all over my nails and on my hands. I've said it before, when I was a child, I used to, when I was at school, I would put all the glue all over my hands and then peel it off. It doesn't hold as much satisfaction as it did back then. And I forgot decorate the sides. Why didn't you tell me? I can just hear someone saying, well you're supposed to know what you're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. should have some done for the top of the box which I seem to have decided wasn't relevant which is very strange I done the other one didn't I yes I did right so we are going to Quickly grab some paper and I am going to <coughs> cut that. I don't suppose I have any of my off cuts that are going to fit. Well, how about that? Someone's smiling at me from up there. Probably what I cut them for and just put them away because I don't think I could get that lucky. Right, so pop that along there. So I do hope you like this. It can hold pretty much anything, but I did like the idea of putting cards in there. Is that? Oh yeah. Should just take a bit off there very quickly. I just thought the idea of having a gift box with cards might be a nice gift set. You can pop in labels and and uh, a diary, make it more of a stationery set, which I've got bits. See. This is why I don't like this pattern, because it looks like that bit's faded. Anyway, I've said a bit. Right, so you are going to take your handle and you are going to line it up in the middle. And you're going to push it down. And then you're going to take that bit, line it up in the middle, and you're going to push it down. 
and it's rigid. See? Right, and we are now going to take another glue dot. Now we didn't have enough of the uh, the um, the pink ones of these. So I went with white to go with the, the white in the pattern. Right, so glue dot. And there we go. So there we are. That is the tutorial for our handbags. I don't know which one's your favourite colour or even if you like the um like the other ones this one which was the peekaboo peach and black right okay so thank you for spending part of your day with me um if you like the video um if you could click like so i know that people are enjoying my videos i get some beautiful comments so thank you very much to everyone who who leaves such a beautiful comment for me um if you haven't please click subscribe and then you'll get notified whenever I upload any more videos. If you want any of the bits that I've done um, or have used that are stamping up materials, which is most of it, um, you can order through my shop, um, which is a secure online shop, which you can get to through my blog, which is www.cinderspapercraft.co.uk. And thank you again for spending time with me. I know how precious people's times are and uh, I really am grateful. So I will say goodbye for now and have a wonderful day. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye bye.